गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू इन लास्ट सॉरी इन लास्ट प्रैक्टिकल आई डिस्कस टू परफॉर्म द स्टडी टेस्ट फॉर सोडियम क्लोराइड इंजेक्शन टूडे वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल गोवर सिराब दैट इज सो एम ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिकल टू परफॉर्म द माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल असे ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइन सोडियम साल्ट ऑफ बेंजाइल पेनिसिलियम बाय द यूज ऑफ और बाय कप प्लेट मेथड आई एम रिपीटिंग द एम ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिकल to perform the microbiological assay of crystalline sodium salt of benzyl penicillin benzyl penicillin by use of or by a plate method so requirement of this practical in that first culture that is bacillus subtilis then medium antibiotic assay medium then apparatus petri plate test tube conical flask cork borer then glass spreader and pipette then equipments required for this practical autoclave incubator refrigerator laminar air flow antibiotic zone reader and zone reader i am repeating the sorry requirement of this practical in that first culture that is bacillus subtilis then medium antibiotic assay medium then apparatus petri plate test tube conical flask cork borer glass spreader and pipette then equipments autoclave incubator refrigerator laminar air flow antibiotics zone and zone reader then next that is principle so what is principle of this method the principle of cup and plate method is based on the diffusion of an antibiotic solution from the cavity through the solidified agar of petri plate used for study yes i am repeating the principle of cup and plate method is based on diffusion of antibiotic solution from the cavity through the solidified agar of petri plate used for study then the growth of microbes is not found in circular area around cavity called zone containing solution of antibiotics then for assay of benzyl penicillium bacillus subtilis is used as a test microorganism yes here what i am saying for the assay of benzyl penicillium which microorganism is used as test microorganism that is bacillus subtilis and medium e is used as a growth of the test culture then we will see procedure first dissolve 35 mg of benzene penicillin in 100 ml of sterile water then from this take from this take 1 ml and dilute to 100 ml of sterile water then use <coughs> stock solution to to prepare 1 2 3 4 and 5 units ml per ml and standard so stock solution then prepare a solution of solution or unknown as a given sample of antibiotic in the same solvent as that of standard solution and dilute it till the level of standard preparation of the antibiotic then next sterilize the antibiotic assay medium by the use of autoclave and the prepare petri plate and laminar air flow then spread the test microorganism on the surface of petri plate yes spread the test microorganism on the surface of petri plates by the use of spread plate technique then by using flame sterilized cork borer then prepare 5 to 6 cups in each plate keeping adequate distance from each other then standard and test and dilute antibiotic solution depending upon size are added in each level cavity of plates then transfer all the plates in which for proper diffusion at antibiotic proper diffusion at antibiotic at 4 degree celsius for 1 to 2 hours then incubate the all plates in incubator then so this is all about procedure next that is observation and result then observe the zone of inhibition observe the zone of inhibition around the cavity and measure the diameter of zone of inhibition by using antibiotic zone reader and record the ob observations in 
then after observation plot the graph of the diam plot the graph of diameter of the zone diameter of the zone of inhibition against log of antibiotic concentration so plot the graph against the diameter of zone of inhibition against log of antibiotic concentration and determine the concentration of unknown antibiotic sample from the graph here we can here we can see the observation table so this is all about this practical i am repeating the observation and result observe the zone of inhibition what we have observed in this practical that is zone of inhibition observe the zone of inhibition around the cavity and measure the diameter of zone of inhibition using antibiotic zone reader and record the observation tip then plot the graph of the diameter of the record the plot sorry plot the graph of diameter of the zone of inhibition against log of antibiotic concentration and determine the concentration of unknown antibiotic sample from the graph here we can see the graph that is zone of inhibition versus log concentration of antibiotics next that is questions based on this practical first what is antimicrobial assay that is it is the method of standardization of antibiotics and vitamins then second question which one is which one is best method to detect change in potency of antibiotic that is microbi microbiological or microbial assay method then assay of cyanocobalamin that is vitamin b12 is carried out by which method that is by the use of turbidimetric method of the tube assay method then next name the single media which is used for microbial assay in which agar is not used that is medium C. Then, which medium is used for assay of cyanocobalamin? That is vitamin B12. That is basal media stock solution is used for assay of cyanocobalamin. Then, which species is used for assay of benzyl penicillin? That is bacillus subtilis. Then, which equipment is used for sterilization of assay of medium that is atoclave then which species is used for assay of cyanocobalamide that is lactobacillus plechmoni then which species is used for assay of streptomycin bacillus subtilis and last why microbial assays is beneficial as compared to biological method because the minimal minimal requirement of space labor material and as well as time because yes what is the reason that is minimal requirement of space then labors materials and time so this is all about this practical that is to carry out or to perform the assay of to perform the microbiological assay of crystalline sodium salt of benzyl penicillium penicillin by the use of curved plate method. I will stop here.